And finally tonight, you've heard of a portrait of the artist as a young man. Well, how about a portrait of an artist as a woman of a certain age? Her name is Helen Frank, and she's turning 80 this spring. Mrs. Frank's work hangs in museums and libraries throughout the nation, from the Library of Congress to the Museum of Modern Art. Senior correspondent Marita Noya Aronson investigates enduring inspiration and the creative process. Isn't it just beautifully done? It was this painting that led us to Helen Frank. It was part of an exhibit at the Newark Public Library called New Jersey Through Artists' Eyes, and it caught our eyes. The symphony, she calls it, and it sings. And when they started to play, I had this image of the, of the music actually rising with the black gowns that the women were wearing and the tuxedos, and it just came out. And that, she says, is how it all tends to happen. Frank has always known she is an artist. No epiphany here, just a pair of observant parents who recognized talent and were determined to nurture it. I think that parents have an enormous amount of influence on children with the amount of encouragement that they give them. Very, very powerful. And so apparently is her work. Jerry Gilday has been featuring Frank in her Westfield gallery for 15 years. Her work touches everybody. It has, she has children, family, travel, New York, baseball, dogs. You, you probably can't think of something that she hasn't done. So the, the human interest. Frank grew up in Newark and Maplewood and lives in Union County now. Her work represents an array of locations, many in New Jersey. I live in New Jersey. <laughs> if I lived in Texas, I would do Texas. And how she does New Jersey, rendering the Pulaski Skyway. I see a dark shape against a gray sky. It's a beautiful expanse. It's poetic. The Meadowlands and a favorite subject, the Jersey Shore. When you look at bodies, when you look at people, you know, they're fun, they're fat, they're thin. There's always the, the kid with the, the towel wrapped in random with the chattering teeth and the lovers and the fat ladies that can't get out of the chairs. I mean, you know, it's like a play. But more than anything, Helen Frank loves to paint people and finds inspiration everywhere. As Sid said, if I sit someplace long enough, art will come out of it. Sid is Helen's husband of nearly 58 years and another favorite subject. Here are people that we love as are her children and her grandchildren. And this is Dolly. Love and connection are clearly in abundant supply in Frank's home, but she does draw certain lines. She works here, but she works alone and in absolute quiet. Put that over there. It's her time, she says, the one time when this world with all of its changes and as a woman born in 1930, she's seen a lot of changes, is in her hands and her hands alone. There's very little that you have control over besides this blank piece of paper that I have in front of me. I can have control over that and put down what I want to. Which continues to be what so many want to see. Yeah. Marie Denoya Aronson, NJN News, Springfield.